first of all, um, I've had, um, I had somebody contact me, um, I had somebody contact me about there being ads on my videos. Um, I know, <laughs> I'm aware, I put this on my community tab as well, uh, but I'll say it here as well. There is, unfortunately, nothing I can do about there being ads on my videos. If you guys don't know, um, if you guys don't know about the, the, the process of um, monetization and stuff, I will tell you, I'll be transparent with you right now, um, to be monetized and have the choice about ads, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of playtime. Playtime, like watch time. Um, and obviously, <laughs> I am nowhere near that. So there is literally nothing that I can do. It's nice to know YouTube thinks I'm monetizable, but all of the adsense and everything goes to YouTube, not to me. Um, and it is YouTube's choice, not mine. So obviously, if there are mid-roll ads and stuff like that, I am really sorry. I know it's not nice for an ASMR video to have mid-rolls and such like, but there is physically nothing I can do. <laughs> so I'm really sorry. Um, you know, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have mid-roll ads and things like that. So I'm really sorry if it disrupts your sleep. So 
just the right time in my life. And I've really been enjoying that album. I've been listening to it over and over again. So if you like music that's music that's like about music that's about life, I think you will enjoy that album. So that's what I've been listening to. Uh, I have been, uh, obviously, if you are familiar with my channel, you know I, um, I play a lot of video games when I have the time, which nowadays is like negative time. But um, uh, lately I've been getting back into a game series that I've loved for years and kind of not abandoned, but like I just was interested in other things. Um, and that is Dragon Age.
unaddressed, it can lead to intergenerational trauma, which means that it's trauma that you inherit. And there have been a lot of studies on trauma and generational trauma, and a lot of them tend to say that the eldest child, especially the eldest daughter, is the most likely out of all the children to inherit trauma. And that's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been doing some reading on that and basically I won't get too personal or into personal details, but a lot has happened in my personal life with family the past month or so, I guess. <laughs>
experience from my own ways of dealing with this and my own mind and my own mental health which already was not doing perfectly um
days where everybody that you know is getting married or civil partnered or they're having kids or they're getting engaged or they're getting a house and you feel left behind and I need this reminder so I'll give it to you and that is that life is not a race Life is not a race, and everybody moves at different speeds. You don't have to reach my age and think you have to have it all figured out. And the irony of it is that if you speak to anybody who's older, they will laugh at you. <laughs> They'll be like, you think you will have it figured out by 25 years old. I don't have it figured out, and I'm 63. <laughs> um, and I think this is the thing. There's a there's a huge pressure on people in their like mid to late twenties to have everything figured out. And <laughs> I am in my mid twenties, which is so scary to say because I'm just a 16 year old girl in my brain. Um, <laughs> I used to go to uni with and now 
the same time, the average age now in the UK to, to own a home is uh, 34, like your first home, 34. And I'm not even close to 34. So, I know that I'm in the same boat as a lot of other people, which is why I think it's really important to talk about it. Because I'm sure there's somebody out there who's in the same position and they're like, oh god, like, I need people to tell me that they're also in the same circumstances so I feel better about it. Which is what I always need and that's what I like about ASMR is that you can often find people who, who understand your exact situation. Yeah. 